DojaToja.com. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Dame Doja. If you're looking to get your interview done or be a guest host on our podcast, hit us up at dojatoja at gmail.com. Bump what you heard. Remember who told you? It's Doja Toja. I can't even hear my sound effects. I got some different ones, though. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your boy, Dame Doja. And this is the Doja Toja podcast, number 61, man. Number 61. You dig what I'm saying? How y'all feeling today? How y'all, how y'all living today? Man, I'm feeling mighty good. Yeah, I'm feeling mighty good. Yeah, 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 you already know. Y'all get cordial. Everybody get cordial, man. You know, good seeing or good hearing from y'all once again. Once again, good hearing from you all. And it's so happy to be here um, to tell y'all about my week and to tell y'all about what's been going on, on you know, in the world and stuff, you know, Doja told you, Doja came here to tell y'all what it is, man, and what it ain't. Feeling really good, you know what I'm saying? Feeling great. Um, went to, went to trial today, y'all. I went to trial today, man. Took that shit to trial, man. Matter of fact, I, I was supposed to be, I was supposed to came in on that shit too, but I know Facebook probably going on saying, hey, on me, so I ain't really came. I ain't want to come with the, to take that shit to trial, you know. You know, he can't wait to get, you know what I'm saying, paid. I had to play only the exclusives. Shout out Robbie Cash with the Stack It Up. New um, new music. Sent it to me, you know what I'm saying? I said, hey, man, I'm going to run that shit, man. What you mean? Now, you know, if you want to get, you know, a constant spin, you know, you can spin a little this way, too, you know? We got different packages available, you know what I'm saying? You know, we, uh, we damn show. Sure with the um, you know, the lookouts, the donations. That's why I say right there where I say Doja told you at Doja told you radio. Make sure you cash out, you know what I'm saying? Hit us up, man. You know what I'm saying? That goes, you know, for whoever feeling froggy. You know, hit us up. Let us know what I'm saying, you know. And you can also hit us up in email, man. Let us know, you know what I'm saying, what you think. But you know, send us some music, send us some tips, you know. I ain't I I ain't above Getting better. I ain't bad no no more above the next man. Emma, we are on sixty one. We've been doing this since been doing this. No saying we we ain't new to this. Everybody know that much. We true to this, right? They know how we coming, man. Every time. All right, so we got a special guest coming in later on. So make sure y'all stick around. We are gonna take it to the Twitch a little later. Welcome Facebook. Make sure my Facebook family is all together, man. Everybody good over in Facebook, man? We're going to start taking this thing over to the Twitch on, on part two. We got a lot to talk about today. Um, nah, I never even started the Facebook. I'm tripping. I thought I did, though. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I never did start the Facebook. I'm tripping. But welcome, Facebook, man. Um, let's get this thing started. It's the Doja Told You Podcast. 
so much to talk about this week. Um, first and for, first and foremost, I gotta I, I gotta address a few things because you know it's part. This ain't about part wars because I told y'all uh, last week. You know I always shout out the other uh, podcast that you know I really don't have. We went through part wars already, and, and you know part wars is going on right now. And other podcasts, uh, Joe Button versus you know his foes and stuff like that. But you know. This is just what I want to say, whatever, you know. Internet games, man. Now, this is about the internet games, man, real quick. I just got to address the internet games and let folks know, man. This is what we doing over here. You know what I'm saying? If you're on the internet, if you post something on the internet, you know, if you even, like, participate in internet games, then they coming, Earlier today, I just was seeing somebody else playing internet games. I was like, shit, let me jump in real quick. I went over there and grabbed the rocket through, through one myself. Seeing somebody attacking my dog. Shit, I was like, hey, hey, hey. I'm with the internet games, you know what I'm saying? And all the person could really say about me is, oh, you're old. Everybody grow old, my boy. You know what I'm saying? I still look good. We still doing this. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, like. Hey, I don't really even like. Once you get up there, boy, you feel good about it. That shit don't even matter no more. That's that's all I got to say. I guess people feel the same way when you know people call them ugly. <laughs> like man, I've been ugly all my life. What's next? Let's count these rocks, biot. Nah, man, but yeah, man, we we, we bought all the internet games over here at Doja Told You Radio. I'm saying we got plenty of them. I'm saying it's word on the net. We got DJ TC coming in on Friday nights. We got uh and Saturday mornings. So shout out to DJ TC. Y'all can come over here and listen to uh you know him, or you can come over here and listen to me on Thursdays. You can um show need to rock with DJ Shed on Sundays at ten o'clock, cause that that ride out is like no other. Nobody else got a uh a lineup like that. So when it comes to talking that that shit about what we doing. It's up. It's my job to talk, talk the shit. Then you know we playing the music before everybody else is really playing it. Like all the music that you heard, don't worry, you're gonna be hearing a whole lot more of it. Don't say all summer long, and that's just what it is. And it's just where you, you know, come in and check in. Yeah, I'm a, it's a little ash, man. I'm using. One thing you can't go wrong with is one of these. When you get you one of these, you feel good. Got to get oiled up for the cameras. All right, so we got a good show. Yeah, man, I, pre- I, I, well, I appreciate the uh, the support. The, the same way that I, sh- I show support, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? It's like when I get support, it makes me want to show the support even more and come back in here every week and do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, you face all kind of adversities. Today, I had to go to two court dates. It's traffic court, so it wasn't really nothing, no I'm saying, too big. But, you know, I had to go to two courts, two eights, and the same time, I felt like a lawyer. In and out the courtroom, you know what I'm saying, case dismissed. Pop, 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 you know what I'm saying? Case dismissed. You may go, Mr. Jones. Oh, okay. Like I said, man, we took that shit to trial, man. But nah, I appreciate it though, you know what I'm saying? Them folks know that, you know, that was some bogus shit, you know what I'm saying? Them folks just pulled me over because, uh, you know, I was a black man riding in a black Audi. Yeah, man. <laughs> it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Beat the case like Creed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gonna make a new word. Beat the case like Creed. All right, so... um. All right, so every week it's like, y'all already know what it is. No matter what happens, it's going to be some crazy shit that happens. And it's like, damn, like, 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 let's come in here and talk about it. So we're going to um, stay hip-hop first because there ain't really that much hip-hop that I had uh, down. So first thing first, uh, we talked about Rich Homie Kwan versus Roddy Rich last week, and they pieced it up. But then um, during the week, you know, me and Uncle Padre, we was going back and forth about, you know, Rich Homie's catalog versus Roddy Rich catalog. And actually, it's actually good a good listen, man. It'll, it'll be a good idea for them to um, do a versus or something like that when they actually think about it. Rich Homie got a nice, because um, last week I said 
that rich homie, you know, catalog was way deeper than Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich wasn't really deep enough, but then, you know, pause. But uh, <laughs> the um, the catalog is actually about the same type of catalog. They both about the same, you know, caliber of artists. It's almost, you know, like Rich Homie Quan ran so Roddy Rich could fly because Future Walk so Rich Homie Quan could run. You know, but you know, yeah, I'm bringing all that shit all together. You see, see what I did there? Yeah, but yeah, um, it definitely was a good, good listen. Once we was kind of breaking the music down together, or whatever he was sending me, you know, Rich Homie Quan's best stuff, and I was listening to Roddy Rich's best stuff. And that actually, you know, it made me think about back in the days how we used to drop the mixtapes tapes or whatever. You know, we would have had the damn Rich Homie Quan versus Roddy Rich mixtape tape would have just dropped on them, would have dropped that thing on them whole. But then it just made me think about all the music that we've been doing um, and playing or whatever on Doja Toja Radio. And I don't know. I think, you know, um, it might be time for a compilation. I might have to put out the compilation as far as we got the playlist. There's a playlist that's available on Tidal if you, for those of you that listen on um, to Tidal. But, and, you know, you can listen on the Mitzler app, you know, even when um, to, to the different shows and, you know, the music. I thought I had an echo. The music will actually, you know, be satisfying or, you know, because we got a good lineup of music to listen to or you can listen to, you know, this little little old podcast right here. But, yeah, man, this little old podcast, man, we doing all right, man. We've been doing doing number 61, doing this, like I'm saying, every week, you know, like it's clockwork. But, you know, it's um not to brag, but, you know, it's, it's an accomplishment, man. I feel good about it. When you actually set out to do a goal and you you, you know you you do it so much that it kind of feels natural, but at the same time, it's definitely not an easy feat. And um, and we got a lot more coming over here on Told You Told You Radio. So we actually appreciate appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been giving us. And um, yeah, I think Roddy Rich probably gonna have Rich Homie Quan on. Uh, last week I got I got to retract my statement. I thought Roddy uh, Rich Homie Quan had Roddy. I think I, I, I bet the devil. But I don't know what y'all think. Um, other than that, speaking on artists like that, I wanted to open up with those two or whatever just to open up with this one. Jim Jones versus Pusha T's pet catalog. Jim Jones had a lot to say about Pusha T this week. And um, I don't know. It's like I, Jim Jones says Pusha T doesn't belong in the in the top 50. And I know a lot of folks that's gonna feel like that. Like, so you know, that's not really where he jumped off the where he went too hard on, you know what I'm saying? On Pusha T. That's not the the real part, the real issue. The real issue was was kind of some of the stuff that he said other than that. And really just going out of his way to talk about, you know what I'm saying, Pusha T like I think he might have did this on the live. I thought he did this on the interview. He might have did this on the live, and he did it on the live. That you know, super flagrant. I might have played somebody else uh, part to get the dog on to get the tea. But nah, um, I guess they say I ain't supposed to say that. Pause. But nah. I don't know though, cause Pusha Pusha dude, dude got some hits though. Like he he actually got a whole lot of like he got a definite catalog. He been doing it for twenty years. Done been through a whole lot, you know, different labels type shit. And you know, to still be doing it, cause that Daytona is a that I still listen to Daytona to this day. Like no cap, I definitely still uh, you know a lot of folks wasn't really digging um. You know, Pusha T based off of a Drake bias. And I think that Jim Jones just might have a Drake bias going on on Pusha T. Now, true indeed, Pusha T, uh, Pusha T may not need, you know what I'm saying, that top 50 was that top 50. Like, it don't really matter that um, that shouldn't really matter. You know, once they put the uh, list together, it is what it is. But, yeah, uh definitely was coming down with the spice man 
definitely was coming through with the spice. I don't even know if I want to even get Jim. I think in the grand scheme of like basic qualifying unbiasedness, I think Drake has to be in the top ten. And you're not putting Drake in the top two of all time, but what are you gonna do? You're gonna be you're gonna put Drake yeah. shade on his name? I mean I do. He has broke every single statistic, period. Bro, like seriously, like Tim Drew is definitely down on why Drake is the greatest rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake is the greatest rapper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but then there's Lil Wayne, and then there's then there's Jay Z. Okay, we're not even gonna talk about Jay Z this week, but y'all seen that a lot of folks been saying that Fifty Cent could take Lil Wayne in the verses. What y'all feel about that? Like, how, how, like I don't. I I think people was big tripping, but they say Fifty Cent could take Lil Wayne in the verses. Like, is this y'all guy that say that could supposed to take Jay Z? And actually, Wayne versus Drake is a is a definite. That's definitely a matchup. Wayne versus Drake is definitely a matchup. But why do people feel that Fifty Cent can match up with Wayne? They saying that fifties twenty is gonna match up with Wayne, and you know that's crazy to me. And I'm glad I do shit like this because I feel like every day I'm fighting the hip hop rap DeSantis. <laughs> I said it wrong, but I said it right. I'm facing the hip hop rap Ron DeSantis, man. Every day they try to change the history of rap, man. I heard somebody say one time, Luke ain't hip hop. Like, yeah, they say Luke wasn't hip hop. But yeah, now they talking about Wayne. It, one, one minute they talking about Wayne was the best, but if Wayne the best, how can he not beat 50 Cent? In the verses, like I'm, I'm confused. If Wayne the best rapper alive, then he just came out with the "Can't Nobody" a hit. Just you know, what I'm saying he just farted a hit out his ass with Swiss Beats. You know, what I'm saying I don't, you know, I know I don't have to remind everybody, but you don't think that Wayne Twenty is eating Fifty Twenty? That's that New York bias shit. I definitely feel how y'all feel, or whatever. When you know. That New York bias is strong. But I don't know. I got a couple of people, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that said, everybody said no. It's about three three no's, but they're coming from the same person. <laughs> it's like, no, 50 can't see Wayne. And, you know, a lot of folks don't really know Pusha T's, like, Pusha T's uh, rap history. But I used to listen to the Mitz tapes. I used to listen to Pusha T on the Mitz tapes. Pusha T came back out, you know, had to had to go solo because he was with a group. But the clips, and boys was definitely spitting, one, you know, on a, on another level. So, I respect Pusha. And he and he served Drake a body. He gave Drake a body. Still to this day, I feel like he, you know, what I'm saying he bodied Drake with the uh with the beef. Drake then back to back Pusha T. You know, what I'm saying y'all remember that. Get the history together. Drake back to back Meek Mill. And Meek Mill even got a good little lick on Drake. But then you know, Meek Mill let us all down. But you know that's neither here nor there. Shout out to all those guys, matter of fact, man. Yeah, shout out to all those guys. I ain't no hate on them guys. I ain't really hating on nobody, man. But at the same time, I don't really see none of this shit no more, man. We just out, we just coming on here just to have fun. I ain't seeing none of this shit no more. We all, you know, we we we're gonna keep putting this shit together. And y'all, you know, and I appreciate the support. Chloe sold 10K first week. 
Chloe sold 10K. Like, if you don't know who Chloe is, that's Beyonce's artist. I don't know how you can not know who Chloe is because she's on every, she's gonna got every look possible. Damn, that shit making me sad. You shouldn't even think about Chloe. Oh, yeah, my boy said he on tour right now. He can't come in and do the podcast. Chloe done got every look possible. So you got to know who she is. And um, from Chloe and Haley. I might not even say that shit right. Ollie. Haley. Ollie. I don't know if I said that shit right. I be saying her name wrong. She don't like that shit. But yeah, um, then say, listen, it's almost dry. And then listen to anybody of work from Jim Jones and tell me who should be on that list. <laughs> you know, but Jim Jones like got some good raps though. Jim Jones, you know, got some hits, and he done came back out and reemerged. Everybody that's reemerging, man. I hope everybody is really taking notes and, and realizing what's going on and music, even though like damn near the world, damn near ending and and like shit is fucked up, like hip hop, they still making money. You know, you know, there's plenty of ways to make money, just like even off podcasts. There's plenty of ways to make money. It's not just one way. But that one couple of the one cup few ways, folks is getting out there, you know, if you and if you hustle your shit right, you know, you're getting your listeners. You know, you, you at least making something, you know, nothing plus nothing equals nothing. Like, so, you know, take a little something and add it up. You know what I'm saying? Don't just put out just one and one, you know, without no plus next to it, just stay the same. So, you know, stay active, my friends. Stay out here, man. Stay working. I appreciate, you know. Everybody that do send the music in and everybody that's, you know, listening and that's appreciating all this good new music that we pumping. But, yeah, you say uh, Pusha T definitely body in Jim Jones. But that will part, I, I probably would have to do that, like, on another day, like, probably much do a versus, do, like, a versus uh, playlist or whatever of Roddy Rich versus Rich Homie Quan, Pusha T versus... I don't even think Pusha T need to do no versus versus Jim Jones. That ain't even really no question. But a lot of folks might forget about some of these hits, man. And like I said, I feel like I'm battling the rap, Ron, uh, I'm saying the, the rap Ron DeSantis every day, man. And motherfuckers try to change, change the history or the perspective of this shit. And I gotta goddamn, I gotta adjust the goggles on on the game. And I guess I don't know how we went from Chloe Bailey to talking about this, but Chloe only sold 10k, man. And, you know, that is um, definitely alarming, being that she's, you know, had every look possible. I feel like a lot of folks don't know that she dropped an um, album out, and I don't think that first week thing really matters with artists like Chloe because her, her music is very good. It's going to, you know, fit, eventually catch catch on. It's not Beyonce, so you got to work to get the Beyonce love, um, numbers. You got to work to get to number 61, like, <clears throat> I was just thinking about this the other day. I be seeing certain folks be bragging about certain shit. Nah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Don't even do it. But yeah, man, she sold 10 k first week. <laughs> and you know, I feel like it's gonna keep rolling though. It's gonna be 10 k then she's gonna sell probably 40 k I think her number's gonna go up. It's not gonna go down. You got you some... Some people, when they put out music, it don't really last that long. You don't really even thinking about it. I mean, they you could say they dropped the ball on the marketing, but I don't really think they dropped the ball. She has she had every look possible, but they really didn't market the music. They just market her, right? She got a song. She got the single with Chris Brown. Check. She she was in a a, a main show. You know what I'm saying? Getting a getting you know what I'm saying? Getting them cheeks slapped. Check. She was um, <laughs> on on promo tour, you know, going city to city. She headlining her own tour, um, but you know, she got a you know her small set of of fans that's gonna grow bigger and bigger. 
She got a new movie out called Praise. Check. I feel like what's happened, what happened was what pro, it's probably a cross in the marketing with her as far as, as far as crossing over from that kid to that adult level of marketing. Everybody's still kind of hesitant on pressing the button as far as, you know, you know, making her the new it girl, you know what I'm saying? Because they kind of just been forcing her everywhere. I mean, and, and you don't really have to force it when she's as talented as she is. It's almost like people, you know, it, and it comes with anything that we, we do. When you force it on the internet, as far as with the content that you put out, the people might be a little, you know, resistant towards it. If you're going to do the podcast and you kind of forcing it, um, with the certain topics that you putting out or the or, or the floor of your podcast, then you know people may be um resistant to it, and I feel like they force marketed Chloe by putting her on so many looks that initially when the album first dropped, everybody ain't running to it right away. We, what we really want to do is we want to hear about it and we want to know, like you know, what I'm saying it's like somebody got to say, hey, how good is this? But people was, you know, some folks was mad that Chris Brown, she did a song with Chris Brown. Like, you know, you got her fans kind of rebelling because it's like, they like, oh, no, don't do a song with him. Don't fall don't fall into that game. They don't want to see Chloe in that light. And, you know, she's a young girl. She's still trying to find herself. But, you know, they trying everything. I could just say that. And, you know, and eventually that shit going to start rolling over because, She's just too much of a star, too much of a spectacle of a, of a person to, to you know, not be successful. But, you know, got to crawl for you rock, Craig. Like I said, Beyonce flew so Chloe Bailey could <laughs> crawl. It's, it's backwards if I say she crawling right now. She crawling, but she she sure can soar. She sure can fly one day. I don't know what I'm saying. I believe in a it's a great uh project. Um and and yeah. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep our eye on that. It's a lot of good music out right now. It's, uh the again, the young nudie, good project that's out right now. Um that young nudie gumbo. Everybody talking about that young nudie gumbo right now. It's like and they, and I don't really know none of the songs because I just hear people playing Young Nudie and I don't really know the songs because he just named them all after some type of food or something. But <laughs> definitely a hard ass project. Um, you know we've been coming with all the five music right here. I want to talk about what dropped tomorrow because a few few key drops uh tomorrow. DJ Drama uh, dropped a, a nice project. Um, it got it, it's like it, I don't know DJ Drama project versus Khaled project. That's a good matchup. Drama gonna come more for the streets. Khaled coming straight for the radio with the you know what I'm saying you know anthems type. You know what I'm saying as far as matching up the artists. Drama definitely came through with the streets though on the mixtape level. And he's just hot right now. He got like, he done dropped six already, six mixtapes tapes already, and it's what, April? So, and he got it got his own mixtape. tape. So, yeah, shout out to Drama. Um, dropping at midnight tonight, Post Malone, dropping Chemical, Pierre Bourne, dropping Grills, NLE Chopper, drop, drop, dropping Cottonwood. It's an album. Uh, Doughboy, dropping Roller Dice, featuring Dave Loaf. I Spice dropping Nicki Minaj, uh, dropping the uh, remix with Princess Diana with Nicki Minaj. That should be very interesting. I thought that song was all right, and now it got Nicki Minaj on it. So you know, Nicki Minaj showing love to the uh, to the new artist. A lot of folks did say she uh, she be hating, but hey, whatever. Uh, Five Year Four dropping tonight. Young Blue dropping a new album, Love Scars Two. That should be heat. Definitely expect heat from Young Blue, as um, Young Luther, Blue Vandross, 
and um, Mariah the Scientist dropping with a new one with Young Boy, NBA Young Boy called Rearview. Y'all can go check those out. Okay, and on the um, on the lyrical, on the lyrical miracle, and as she said, they gave me a, a, another one, empirical tip, black thought. Dropping L, with L. Michael's affair uh, called Glorious Game. They dropping a uh, project. Oh, it might just be a, a song. I don't know. I'm not really sure about that one. But TJ say he got uh, music on the way. And again, Post Malone dropping a new single called Chemical. They've kind of been been uh, shadow banning Post Malone too. Because he got heat that's out. But you know, he, he, he ain't been getting out the, the usual... Post Malone looks, but Post Malone could quietly just keep going platinum and keep touring around and killing these folks in the game. All right, so uh, what else we got, man? We're going to have to just get straight into the uh, straight into the politics. So we're going to take an early break, but we ain't ready for a break just yet. But we're going to take an early break because we got a lot of politics to talk about, man. Okay, this just came in, uh, new news or whatever. What y'all think about the Shanquila Johnson case? There was no charges brought up in the Shanquila Johnson case. Um, Yeah, like I said, it's nothing but... uh, Am I saying... No, I said her name wrong. I'm tripping. Shanquila... Shanquilla Robinson case. I'm tripping. You know, the Cabo Six. So what they're saying is U.S. prosecutors will not bring charges in the murder case of Shanquilla Robinson. I'm talking about Johnson. That's terrible. Get together, my dog. Get together, my dog. May she rest in peace first and foremost. Um, I know everybody, a lot of folks want to see justice in this particular case. If you know, if you're not following, if you haven't followed uh, Shanquila Robinson, died in Cabo, Mexico, while on vacation with five of her friends or six of her friends or a group of her friends, if we just say it like that. And um, it was in a it was a fight that her and another girl um, the other girl was get had got the best of her and and and, and, and they beat up and left her out there. Took flights back and said that she had got sick. And, and stayed back or something like that. They lied or whatever when they first came back. But it turns out that they was uh, wanted by the Mexican authorities at first. And then, um, I don't know. I think they already, um, the United States didn't extradite them or anything like that. So I think it was kind of like an automatic thing that I ain't even turn on a damn light. I'm tripping. I ain't got no light, Tosha. That's why we looking all bland and shit. <laughs> Y'all like, damn, Tosha looking dark. Oh, dark and lovely. We're going to take a uh, a video break, though. Yeah, we're going to take a quick video break, and I'm going to get the light straight. But, yeah, man, rest in peace to Shanquila Robinson, man. Um, And, of course, I know folks... It's still going to be looking for justice, but they say U.S. prosecutors will not bring charges in the in charges uh, in the murder case of Shanquila. Uh, they said that initially it was said that she had um, that she had a uh, initially they said that it was some, an injury to her spine, right? Her spine was the reason that she died. And then the U.S. autopsy case came back and said that her spine was intact. So that blunder 
and evidence from the Mexican the Mexican evidence already put a, a super huge hole in the case in which the U.S. don't um, see what hole any water and don't see any any need to put any money behind it. I mean, and you know, of course, she's also black, so you know, may not have any reason to put a lot of resources. I mean, but I, I ain't going to really play it just because she black, whatever, the black card, whatever, but um, you can just feel how you, how, you know, read it how you want to play it, read it, but that's just kind of one of the, one of the factors. Will not bring charges in the death of Shanquella Robinson. Shanquella. That announcement coming just minutes after federal authorities met with Robinson's family at the Charlotte FBI headquarters. In a statement from the U.S. Attorney and the FBI, the Fed said there was not enough evidence to bring charges. Robinson died in October last year while on a trip to Mexico with friends. WBTV reporter Brandon Hamilton is at FBI headquarters. You just heard from him minutes ago. He will be at a news conference with Robinson's family set to start at 1.30 this afternoon. That news conference will stream live across platforms, WBTV's platforms, including our news app and the WBTV Facebook page. We're posting the latest right now. You may have just gotten alerted on your WBTV news app about this story and this breaking news that no charges will be filed. Again, you can continue to follow along the app and us here on air and online for those latest updates. Yeah, so rest in peace, Shanquilla Robinson, once again. Um, very sad story. And now I guess I'm now I got to get into the sad stories. Because I guess I can't really like not talk about it. But yeah, um, Charity, rest in peace, Charity Lanique. I then I just want to take a quick break, I guess, and figure out how I could kind of, because even just seeing Shanquilla, and then, you know, just even thinking it's about Botox. how she died. More breaking news now at noon, just into the newsroom. Federal prosecutors will not bring charges in the death of Shanquilla Robinson. That announced... Very, very sad story. Um... Got to protect the black women out here. So she deserved better than that. But yeah, now I'm now I'm sad. Like now now I don't, I don't know how to not like be sad. Right now I kind of been sad all week, man. And now I guess I I gotta uh, pay homage to a dope talent. And um, I guess I'm going to be sad some more. Rest in peace, Charity Lanique, man. Um, let's take a quick little break. Let me fix the lights real quick. Play Queenie. Get his queen. Blowing, beaming. Hold on. Rest in uh, peace. Queenie, shining, blowing, beaming. Th -th Self love so turned up. Can't nothing come in between it. Uh, uh ain't letting up, and I mean it. Diamonds on me, they gleaming. You could try, but you can't deny. I'm the bitch and you see it. Uh, I'm the bitch and you see it. I, I, I'm the bitch and you see it. I, 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 I'm the bitch and you see it. Uh, dripping in gold, attitude cold. These niggas do what they told. Uh, I'm so on, cash overflow, and I make it on my own. Skin glowing like it's made in the sun. Since on me, Christian Louboutin. No one relations, just wanna have fun. I get, I get what I want, 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 uh. Shining, glowing, beaming, self love so turned up, 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 up. I know you want me to be yours. Can't hear you open my deep yours. Get dressed up like what is the boys? Just for me to act like I don't know him. Bright future, never seen it clearer. Bad bitch got a body like Lyra. Bad bitch got a body like Lyra. Bad bitch got a body like Lyra. Lyra, 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 Lyra. Chop notch, ho, you can get nearer, 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 nearer. Pop it like a nigga pulled the trigger, 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 trigger. Do my squats and make the sound get bigger, bigger. 
bigger, bigger, bigger. Living heavy got me getting thicker, 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 thicker. Love I dump again and make this house get sicker, 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 thicker. Love I dump again and make this house get sicker, 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 thicker. Love I dump again and make this house get sicker, 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 thicker. Love I dump again and make this house get sicker, 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 thicker. Love I dump again and make this house get sicker, sicker. Yeah, I see how you checking my figure. Category is body and I'm feeling this liquor. Shit broke my heart, man. Rest in peace, Charity Lanique, man. Um, superstar, man. Y'all go um, stream her music, look her up. She died uh, last week. I guess it's the part of a show that's kind of um, dark, I guess. There's not really much that we really know. Kind of fucked me up. Had me all fucked up all week. And um, Duval basically definitely lost the princess. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it hurt, man. I don't know why the camera looked like that either. I didn't really prepare the camera that well. It definitely hurt though. Um, I ain't really know. It's really like no easy way to do this. Like I, I ain't even know if I was gonna be able to do this. Like really, like because you know I just was trying to kind of mask it and not talk about it, you know. And then just again we paying homage to Shane Quilla, but. I just know that she passed away, man, over some type of overdose or a bad dose, missed dose. And, you know, you guys know I was just talking about my brother the other day and kind of the same, similar 
demons that just be kind of plaguing the community. And um, it's just terrible. It's just because you would just never, like, think about that. And then on top of, man, everything, man. I was just talking about Chloe and just even just thinking about the Swarm movie. Like, it's definitely hit home after watching something like that. And I don't really want to promote, like, the movie, like the, not the movie, but that show. But it was just like, shit's like a nightmare, man. So we definitely going to be mourning charity, um, for, you know, it's definitely not even really processing all the way, really. A lot of folks probably not really going to really be, I don't know. It's probably might be one of the only times that I'll actually really be talking about it. Um, but, you know, I, st- I, I, I will continue to play your music. I will continue to love your music. We're going to miss you. I just regret that you didn't get a chance to really show the world how beautiful and talented and driven. Like, you can tell with when she take a picture or when she do a dance move or when she hit a note or when she in the room that this woman is serious and fierce and driven. And um, rest in peace, Charity and Monique, man. It's like losing a family member, man. I guess uh, it is about time to take a quick little break. It's almost 8 o'clock. Um, yeah, man, y'all be careful out here with um these experimentations and, and what's going on out here in the community. Um. You know, but a lot of folks say, you know, you know, we really don't know, like, the dark side, man. You don't really be knowing what the dark side of things is really, like, what the dark side is like. Like, and I know what the dark side is like. Like, I, I, I've been there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has a dark side, and I hate that. You know, a lot of times this weekend, I it had me just fucked up, and I was just thinking, like, because I frequent the dark side. Not that I use or anything like that, but it's like I, I'm i not a dark sider, but I've been there. I've seen it. Sometimes you can't even see it, though, because I didn't see it with my own brother. You just want to see the light in somebody, right? And you don't see the dark side, even though you might be walking in the valley, right? I almost feel like I'm preaching today, but it's just like you might be walking in the valley. You don't even know it's the Valley of Death. So that's why, you know, stay prayed up, man. You never know. You got to live like it's your last. But at the same time, focus on the presence like it's your first, man. Like it's your first time doing it. Like it's your first time, you know, enjoy this shit, man. Enjoy it, man. Don't take this shit for granted. Doing this music shit, doing this podcasting, being on social media. There's a lot of folks that's not even free right now, man. Our people ain't free right now. Like, Even though they be doing some fucked up shit, it's a lot of folks that be doing some fucked up shit. We ain't talking about those folks, but it's like, it's like we was... We get... It's easily influenced to do, go dark. It's so it's so easily to go dark right now, and it's getting very very dark. It's getting very very scary. Um, and I guess I kind of just lost my focus because I ain't even talk about Easter weekend. Like I ain't even talk about the weekend at all. Or whatever. I tried to mask it by talking about music and shit, but this shit just was it. It really hurt. This one, you know, what I'm saying all of them hurt though. From Willie, rest in peace, little Willie, rest in peace, Bank Row, rest in peace, TJ, rest in peace, Terry, rest in peace, Lily. 
Rest in peace, Big M. Rest in peace, Thad. Rest in peace, Troop. Rest in peace, Cello. Like that dark side, man. And that's why, that's what make, you know, people be going through a lot. That's what make it easy for people to kind of like trip over to the dark side. So the, even the, the, the show Swarm, it just even like, it's a triggering thing right now. Like that shit is very triggering. So I feel, I feel, I just was, I had a very scary weekend, man. It was a very, uh, that's just with some terrible news that's been plaguing a lot of people in the city and in in our culture and in the country period coming from these missed dose overdose whatever any dose of fentanyl down there is a, is a plague and you know like you never know like you you know they say it, it you know they're gonna tell you oh it could be in the weed it could be in the coke it could be whatever like they lacing it I believe that, but I don't really believe that. I think that's kind of just like some shit that we just think because we never go to the dark side. A lot of folks don't know what the dark side is like. So they try to make some, they try to rationalize what going to the dark side is like. And I don't know how um, that, that uh, this angel passed. I don't know if that was, if that's just what they said. It's still, you know, it's not really all the way official. So don't take, like, my word, you know, as far as, like, oh, you know, I'm calling her a user or maybe she, you know, she was drugged. This is what they're saying. But we really just don't know what the dark side is like, man. And sometimes you can't see the darkness when you can only see the light in people. And it's, you know what I'm saying? It's fucked up. You know, I told people, man, when I watched the Swarm show, man, I cried, I laughed, I, you know, I was mad. It was a good ass show to me. I watched Snowfall, man. I cried watching Snowfall, man. And Snowfall been fire too lately. I'm trying to think about something else, man. You know, I'm mean, we gonna take a quick break or whatever, get into some more music, you know. Um, <laughs> and shake that shit, man. But yeah, man. Shit was hard, man. But yeah, rest in peace, TJ. It's been a lot, man. My Uncle Morris, my Uncle Joseph, my Auntie Janice, my Auntie Sylvia, my grandmas, pops. You see the dark side and you see death a lot, man. Sometimes, you know, that shit never gets, it never gets, uh, it never gets easy. It never like for me. It, I'm not numb to that shit yet. And a lot of folks be like, "Damn, damn, you deal with death like hard." Like people have came to me and been like, "Yeah, you deal with death hard." And it don't really be that, cause if this is hard, then shit. But at the same time, you know, for a long time, I, I keep my friends' memories alive because I cherish the memories. I cherish the times that I've had with. You know the friends, the times, the, the the very little times. It's like some friends I have, I I was only giving them for very 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 little bit of time, and then I yearn if I had more time. You know, what type of advancements, fun, enjoyment, you know, whatever it was like that I could possibly get out of just having a little more time. If Cello would have been around doing this podcast. Oh, that's the automatic co-host. That's why I'm doing a show by myself. Not that ain't why I'm doing a show by myself, but like I say, man, it doesn't get any easier. If you need anybody to talk to, stay away from the dark side, man. Go into some, you know, saying some light, and that's a metaphor for find somebody you can trust. You know, always let some some folks know where you are. Protect black women, man, and. I really don't want to talk about this subject, so I got to get out of this subject, but I just really, really was hurt by losing, by hearing about the death of this girl, and it's not over yet. That's all I can say. It's not fucking over. Yeah, 
Yeah, so take a quick break. Got one more video to play. Shout out to Amy Luciani. I'm going to take a uh, – and the special guest is calling me. So check out this video. And uh, – yeah, I got you. Check out this video. Special guest is right on time. New music from Amy Luciani. Bag Lady featuring Duval's own Big Rankings. I hear Big Rankings is bringing back the Diamond Awards. Shout out to Sierra, CC, the event planner. Damn, I'm not script the video just that fast. Um, shout out to DJ Septicon. Shout out to DJ Red. Shout out to DJ TC. Shout out to Get Money George. We got a new night on Wednesdays. Y'all y'all can check us out, man. We back outside. We back outside. Um, Duval is still on the rise, man. Shout out Nardo Wick. Holly Monroe. I know I'm saying, I, I know I'm saying um, my heart goes out to you. M. Jeezy. The whole Win Lab family. She was a part of the Win Lab. Shit got me fucked up. All right, man. New music, bad lady. Check my my dog out. She's doing big things. Amy Luciani. Remember where you heard it first. Remember who told you. Bump what you heard. It's Dame Doja. Doja told you every fucking time. Over and over again. Place where, you know, you know, when we see stars. I pulled up on my dog, Amy Luciano. And I told her, it's only two rules of being a bag lady. Rules number one, never lose money. Rules number two, never forget rule number one. Run it up on these lame ass hoes. Before we shake hands, I need to count my money twice. Had to sit these bitches down, told them I ain't nothing nice. I'm the big dog, bitches catching issues, trying to step. Bring the best riders in, I'm being real, I'm not impressed. It's a pistol in my dress, I'm trying to chill and be a lady. I'm tired of arguing with you niggas, what I'm saying is fuck you pay. And I ain't taking shit late. What I look like asking twice. Keep a shooter in the back, he begging me to take a life. Look, diamonds on my body everywhere except the ring finger. Mama told me to want a nigga better, never need him. Real sack chaser caught me the bag lady. I got bitches mad. Lately. I ain't been sad lately cause that money coming crazy and the whole team eat. I walk out the bank cheese, I walk out that bitch skipping. Pink duffel full of money, all these blues look like a crib. Hop in the foreign, watch me whip it. I'm just different. They wanna know how she getting all this paper. The blog say it gotta be a rich nigga who gave her. They don't know that I've been touching money for a minute. Spent your house on my pen. Claim you bitches, that's the pen. Used to dream of flying PJs, that's last year's gold. He ain't touched my new body, that's my last year's home. I'm in the new drip, he hoses in the last year's clothes. Saying Amy broke, I must have been the last to know. <laughs> ain't no competition with bitches, I'm too ahead. Everybody looking for love, baby, I'm looking for bread. I see a bunch of little minions and they do what Amy said. School these bitches how to break a nigga, I should make them pledge yeah. Diamonds on my body everywhere except the ring finger Mama told me to want a nigga, better never need him Real sack chaser caught me the bag lady, I got bitches mad lady I ain't been sad lately cause that money coming crazy And the whole team eat, I walk out the bank cheese, I walk out that bitch skipping Pink duffel full of money, all these blues look like I'm crippin' Hop in the forum, watch me whip it, I'm just different Diamonds on my body everywhere except the ring finger Mama told me to want a nigga better, never need him. Real sack chaser caught me the bag lady. Pink duffel full of money, all these blues look like I'm crippin'. Hop in the forum, watch me whip it. I'm just different. I need that motherfuckin' busy bitch. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Dame Doja. If you're looking to get your interview done or be a guest host on our podcast, hit us up at dojatoja at gmail.com. Bump what you heard. Remember who told you? It's Doja Toja.